Yeah, I really don't recommend you do this. <laughs> Please don't do this. This is stupid and this is not how it's supposed to be done. Hi, it's Bimerzen with another video and this time I will be disassembling and inspecting Venus units from BMW N43 engine. And that's because I have an engine that spun some bearings and you can see some example of damage here. The filter totally collapsed, bearing shells destroyed, also the camshafts are worn out. I have a video on that if you're interested, but uh, anyway I will have to open them up, inspect them, clean them out and uh, see if they're still usable. So uh, here is the exhaust side, as you can see they are marked, never switch them around. So in order to inspect this you have to take it apart, but this is not a serviceable unit. So if you suspect you have bad Venus unit you should just replace it. There is nothing of value inside, like in nuclear waste dumps. So uh, if you want to open it up, you will have to use the 5 point torque bits, they are kind of special. These bolts are actually pretty tight, so you have to hold it down and rotate it. Oh no! And the bolt is gone. Wow, that's bad. Oh, and the things I do for love. So the bolts are now drilled out. So let's remove the rest of the bolts. These are the ones that I was able to remove using a special Torx bit until it broke. Yes, I did break it. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So this is the cover. Let's clean it up a bit. Okay, so you can see that there are some signs of wear. Gloves off. Let's do the fingernail test. <laughs> I can just about feel it. So it's slightly worn, but I don't think it's bad. Here you can see that I can just about catch this edge with the fingernail. So there is some wear here. Now let's dump out the oil. There's quite a lot of oil. Hmm, I can actually feel debris in the oil. Here you can see the locking mechanism. So it's a bit different than in the older Vano systems where you had the pin that dropped. Here you can see that you have this plate and there's also a spring inside. So now let's see how this operates. So this is now locked in the initial position and when the oil pressure is applied it goes through this channel here and then it builds pressure underneath this plate. The oil lifts it up and then it unlocks and the vanos can rotate. So let's see if this is stuck. Yeah, it's stuck. So ideally the spring should lock it back and it doesn't. So this Venus unit is definitely binding. You can see that <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite tight. So Let's see if we can clean it out. 
and uh, if that makes it any better. I'm going to try and pull it out with long pliers. Well, yep, there goes the spring. So here is the plate and here is the little spring that should keep this plate in locked position. It's pretty weak spring. And here you can see that there's actually copper film on the spring. Yeah, not good. There is a little bit of copper debris in there, but nothing too clogged up, I think. So I've cleaned it out and I can still feel that it's binding a little bit at the bottom. So it slides nicely to this point and here it starts to bind. So very interesting. I'm gonna take out one of the veins and I'm going to make sure I remember where this vein came from. As you can see, <laughs> it's quite delicate. Here you can see the little spring that keeps this vein pushed against the outside of the venous unit. Okay, uh, now I'm going to take out the rest of the veins, but I have to be careful because there's a tension spring inside, so it wants to spring out. Let's see if I can show you all of the debris. Not sure if you can see this, but there's <laughs> quite a lot of copper material in there. So this would definitely cause some issues because the venous unit cannot get to the initial position, so it will not lock. Okay, let's take this apart now. Here's my setup. I have the venous unit on the vice grip with the pieces of wood, and I've put a piece of threaded rod through the center, and I've put a large nut on this side, and here I have a washer that protects the surface, and another nut and this way I am able to rotate the core and compress the torsion spring and uh, I think I will be able to remove the last vein. Now I can slowly release the tension Yeah, it's binding quite a lot. I really don't want to damage anything. Let's check out the rotor. And yeah, it's pretty full of particles. And here's the money shot, so the torsion spring. And look at this. Look at all of these debris. Yeah, it was pretty loaded with particles. So, I think that the Venus unit is still usable if I replace the drilled bolts. Uh, but if you don't clean it out, then it's not gonna work. 
because there's no way for the particles to get out once they get in. And all of the particles probably prevent the Venus unit to get into the initial position where it can lock. So yeah, let me clean this out. Yeah, full of copper. Nasty. And here you can see all of the copper deposits. Yeah. Who put glitter inside of this engine? Hey. Okay, time to meticulously clean everything. Everything is nice and clean and oiled up. Just a quick note, if you are doing this, which you shouldn't, be careful not to compress the Venus sprocket too hard or you will bend it and you will not be able to insert the rotor part. The tolerances are really, really tight, so if you squeeze it just a little bit, you will not be able to get the rotor in. Also make sure that everything is oriented correctly, otherwise it will not fit together. Now I'm going to install the locking latch and the spring. If I rotate the rotor now, the latch should automatically lock. Here it goes. Now I should be able to install the vanes together with the springs. Finally, I have managed to put everything back together and uh, now I have the rotor part in tension and I'm going to test out if the locking slat will lock the rotor when I release it. So let's release it slowly. Oh, yep. So the locking mechanism works and before it did not. And that was definitely because of all of the dirt inside of the Venus unit. I've got the plate back on and uh, I already got the new bolts. These are stainless steel Torx bolts. I hope they will work. So let's install them. And I want to go in a cross pattern because I want this plate to settle down. I've put the Venus unit back into the vice grip. Now I'm going to torque them to 10 newton meters. And I'm done. I think that this Venus unit is still usable. Now I wouldn't reuse this unit on a professional setting, like if you're working on a customer's car. But for me, I think I would take the chance. So anyway, thanks for watching. Consider checking out my other videos regarding the N43 engine. And uh, keep zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance.